you're sitting around, you're waiting for jobs to come in, you're making excuses, you're saying that you know it, the market's too saturated, Fiverr's too saturated, um, you're not getting any jobs on Freelancer or Upwork. Truth is, it's all about you, it's all up to you and what you're gonna do. Um, I work with some other freelancers, I try to do some coaching, and, you know, and I'm guilty of this too, where I sit around and I wait, and there's some times where because I'm waiting and I'm not doing my own marketing that I'm failing, and what I have to do to go make up for my bills is I have to go get in my car and I have to drive for Uber. I drive for Uber and Lyft, I, I've been doing that for years and I wanna just get out of it. Now, when I first started freelancing, I was doing freelancing on the part-time and I was driving Uber full-time. Now that has switched and I have much more business on my freelancing, but then I'm still doing Uber part-time. And the only reason I'm doing Uber part-time, and I hate it by the way, uh, it doesn't pay enough, it's just, it's just a, losing, a losing model. The reason I even have to do that is because I don't spend enough time marketing myself. And you know, so this has to change and, and I'm gonna make a lot more videos going about this now and talking about this and I've already started doing it. But so what is the Uber for you? What's that Uber Lyft job for you, that gig job that you don't like? Is it your personal job that you have that you keep going to and you're not spending enough time to market yourself, to educate yourself, to raise your value as a freelancer? And then so you're just stuck doing that, that other thing, doing the Uber doing the Uber Lyft or your job or whatever the case may be. Maybe you're sitting around and you're just not even motivated because you're sitting around watching too much YouTube or you're watching too much TikTok or Instagram, whatever the case may be for you. And you know, when doing the marketing, it just comes down to discipline. So you have to market yourself and discipline yourself to actually do the marketing. Now, now there's a couple of different sides to that too. It's like you also gotta put yourself 100% into your profile, your Fiverr profile. I'm guilty of that too. I'm only about 70%, 80% of what it could actually be. So I'm gonna drive more, put more of my discipline into building up my marketing so that I can, the more I put into my marketing of my freelancing gig, the less I will have to do for driving Uber or that thing that you hate, right? Now let's talk about discipline for a second because this is the reason you'll fail. 100%, the reason you're gonna fail is because you lack discipline. You're not doing enough, you're being lazy, and you're just always making excuses. You always have an excuse, you blame somebody else, the system, the world, the economy, whatever the case may be. Talk to anybody successful, and they will tell you that it all comes down to their discipline. Don't listen to what anybody else says, just worry about you, get your job done, show your discipline, and get to work every day. Now, how do you maintain that attitude though? Because it takes a big positive mental attitude. So you're gonna have to adjust your attitude on a regular basis every single day. Don't just say, oh, I'm a depressed person or I'm not motivated or I have anxiety. These are all just excuses. Depression is living in the past. The only reason you're living in the past is because you're not happy with where you are today. If you had spent the past days building yourself up, well, then you would be a lot more happy with where you are today. You'd feel fulfilled. You'd feel some self-worth. You know, putting in the work builds up your self-worth. Don't forget that. So how do you even do this? How do you build yourself up out of depression? And I've made some other videos on this too. So one of the main things that I do that I've learned from someone else, and I know this has always worked for me throughout my life and I may have given up on it. And this is, this is the, the other reason of discipline, right? So when we're disciplined, we don't give up. We stay disciplined and we keep working every day. So your discipline is gonna be the main factor for you of how you build your success. What does that mean? Getting up early, an early wake up time every day. So you're putting yourself under that, that, that discipline, you're holding yourself accountable, you're holding your word to yourself so that you're getting up every day and you can start the day of where you wanna be. You're like, oh, oh, but I'm tired. I, I, I didn't get a good enough sleep last night. Well, good. Now you can really prove to yourself how, how like committed you are to actually getting up. Now I get up a little late sometimes. My alarm goes off at 2.45 a.m. in the morning. Okay, so I try to get to bed by 7, 7.30, doesn't happen. I'm usually in bed by 8, 8.30, 9 o'clock, falling asleep. 2.45, the alarm goes off. Now, I don't jump out of bed right away. I hit the snooze a little bit, but if I'm not out of bed by 3.15, I am pissed at myself. Like, I'm down. I'm not feeling good about myself. Um, so, 2.45, that alarm's going off, and that alarm time should be something that's difficult for you to maintain. Like, you can't, like, it's a stretch for you. And it doesn't have to be 2.45 right away. Like, maybe you're getting up at 8 a.m. in the morning, and you're complaining that you don't have any jobs uh, in your freelancing gig or your freelancing career, and it's probably because you're waking up way too late. Like, you need to be ready for work at 9 a.m. easy, if not 8 a.m. So, set that time for wake up. You're going to wake up early, and then 
Um, you're going to go into some sort of reflection, some sort of reading. Uh, don't go through the phone. Do not go through the phone. I know how tempting it is. Don't go through the phone. You're going to sit there and you're going to need to find some books that you need to read. Um, I have a couple books, so I'm not going to get their back. It's back there. I'm just not going to get it right now. Um, so someone I've been following is Wes Watson. He's got the book that's unbreakable. I'll put the link down in the description. Um, but that's a book that just like completely just like keeps me motivated, keeps me on my discipline. So I read that every morning because some, you know, sometimes like if you're in a spot where you're failing, if you're in a spot where you're failing, your obviously your mind's not right, right? Your mind's not in the right place to get you there. And so you need to learn from somebody else. So that's what I like to do. I like to take that book and I start reading and I start inputting inputting those words into my head. So now I have someone else's discipline and motivation coming into my head, programming me for that morning. And so that I can move into my other disciplines. So once I get my mind right, maybe, you know, you do little things around the house, whatever, whatever it is you do. I have some cats I take care of, you know, they want their, they want their, their food. So I give them some food. Um, and then, you know, I get some water and I probably have a little bit of food like half a banana because I want to get some carbs in me because I'm getting ready to work out. So after I do my reflection, my reading, now I'm going to, now I'm going to work out. Oh, and the reflection is just like, I'm reflecting on myself from the day before. Was I happy with myself from yesterday? Did I do everything that I wanted to do? Did I accomplish everything? Did I stay on my discipline and not do those things that, that hinder me and, um, you know, downgrade my growth. So that's where I reflect on. And I try not to do, I, I reflect on what I regret from yesterday. And I try not to do that today. I try to just eliminate all those regrets from today. Okay. So that's going to be a big factor. If you can eliminate all the things that you know you shouldn't do and you, and you, and you switch and you put those time, that time in, you switch that time from your regrets to something that positive, something that will build you up. I mean, just think if you did that every day, where would you be? If you did this every day of your life, where would you be? If you were just constantly expanding and constantly growing, you wouldn't be complaining about not having enough, enough jobs or enough work as a freelancer. And then next, after I've done my reflection and my reading after the early wake up, there's a couple things going on. I so a lot of times I take a cold shower. I do a cold shower. Um, it helps me, you know, as an older male, it helps uh, increase testosterone. So I want to increase my testosterone, and it's also challenging, right? I'm I'm doing self inflicted adversity to challenge myself and challenge my mind and not be lazy and not be complacent. And this is every single day. You need to your positive mental attitude is gained every single day. It's not going to be a one time thing. Um, where you did it today and now you get to take the rest of the month off. No, you're going to challenge yourself every single day. And if you, it, and the reason you're not successful is because you don't do these types of things to yourself. You don't put yourself self-inflicted adversity where you put yourself in a hard situation. You're too busy being comfortable. You're too busy being a little, little baby, little baby girl, little baby boy, whatever it is. And you know, you're not reaching that level. So now it's time to create that, that shift in yourself, in your mindset, in your daily habits. Your habits are everything. And your discipline builds your habits. So are you going to be disciplined on your habits? Self-inflicted adversity. You're getting up early. You're reflecting on what you did yesterday. You're taking a cold shower or maybe a cold, a cold dip. You don't have to do that. It's just something that I do. I, I practice on a regular basis. And then I get into a workout. So now I'm going to work out. I'm going to push my body. I'm going to, you know, I'm... I'm I'm putting myself through another self-inflicted adversity and it's also going to like raise my mental state. It's going to raise my energy, my vibration. And now I can go into the rest of my day in a positive, with a positive mental attitude. Um, you know, so I go into my day, I have some, after the workout, I'm going to have some, some good food, some good, uh, proper macronutrients, protein, fats, and carbs. You, you know, you want to gain, you want to memorize this stuff and you want to track it for yourself. So proteins, carbs, and fats. Excuse me. That's going to be so important. Your nutrition is going to be so important. So those are like, those are the main things, you know, and then after I'm done with my, my food, I'll probably post some stories. I'll do some, you know, some posts on social media, and then I'm going to go into my marketing. I'm going to, I'm going to do marketing. I'm going to create more posts. I'm just going to make sure I post out for the day. And then I'm going to go into follow-up. I'm going to uh, communicate with all my clients, all the potential clients. If I have some in my inbox, if I don't, have that, then I want to go out and get some, right? So I'm going to go and try and get some. They have some on Fiverr where you can go and you can look at jobs um, that have been posted and you can, you can see if you, you want to work with those people. Same thing on Upwork. Start making social media posts. You can go into social media and go into Facebook, go on Instagram, start posting about what it is that you do. Um, you need to have a regular posting schedule. 
we're in the day of attention, the age of attention, the age of information is over. Everybody can get information anywhere. Um, your services, somebody can get anywhere. But so the name of the game is get the attention. If you get the attention, you're more likely to get the job. So stay on your discipline, build your habits. Um, I'll put some links down in the description that'll help you out if you're, if you're looking for help. And uh, you can always definitely message me and reach out to me if you need help with anything. So I'm here to help. I hope that you know, you're know you not taking this too hard of me calling you lazy, but it's the truth, right? Like I've been lazy, I've been there, I still struggle with it. You know, I'm still battling those demons and building those habits every single day. So just know that it takes work. And if you want to get there, you got to build the habits, build the discipline. And eventually every day you just level up and level up and then you'll be at a different place. If you follow these principles and, and then in a year from now, a year from today, you'll be a completely different person. All right, follow these principles and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.